Hey everyone, Little Potato Boy, aka Justin Trudeau and Christina Freeland and the rest of his feminist SJW entourage. Yeah, they've been told by the Trump administration and the rest of the business negotiators or people in positions of authority in different countries around the world have said, listen, go home, deal with your little social justice issues and come back to us when you've grown up and have become an adult and want to actually deal with actual trade, right? And business practices. We don't care about your ideologically driven narratives. We don't care about your feminist virtue signaling. We're all about trade. We're all about economics. I don't really care about your political ideology, little potato boy. Headline from the National Post. John Iveson, U.S. cites Trudeau's progressive trade agenda as barrier to progress on NAFTA. A senior Canadian government official said the U.S. is really frustrated by the rejection of proposals the Canadian side has labeled non-starters. Justin Trudeau's progressive trade agenda, the insistence on including gender parity and aboriginal issues in trade negotiations with the United States is being cited as a barrier to progress by senior figures in the U.S. administration, according to people familiar with the matter. Donald Trump's top deal makers are said to be complaining that Canada is not negotiating and that in the event of a collapse of the North American Free Trade Agreement, a bilateral deal with Mexico might be easier than one with Canada because it is willing to be flexible on U.S. content requirements. The attempt to impose progressive chapters on labor, the environment, and women into a prospective free trade deal with China scuttled those prospects last month. But a senior Canadian government official said the idea that NAFTA is in trouble because of two chapters out of the 28 being negotiated is total nonsense. He said the progressive agenda remains a priority for the Trudeau government, but the U.S. is really frustrated by the rejection of proposals the Canadian side has labeled non-starters. The inclusion of a five-year sunset clause, the scrapping of the dispute resolution mechanism, strict U.S. content rules, in autos, the end of supply management, and the opening up of Canadian government procurement. That sounds like it just just that little part alone. Doesn't that sound like something that China or the communist regime would put forth and resent as a, a pretense for their own negotiations? But you know what? The crazy part is the Chinese are the ones that would reject this stuff. Trudeau's way, way, way worse than even the communist regimes for fuck's sake, people. Come on. Even the Chinese people are saying that, hey, listen, Trump, we're going to deal with you the economic and trade, and, and, and you know, we're going to put our own, we're going to put our own ideological bullshit, right, <laughs> aside, and let's just deal with each other in the manner befitting of businessmen, right? <laughs> but Trudeau, while well, Trudeau's like, come on, this guy's as far away as possible from anyone that comes from the business community. I mean, what was he, a fucking substitute teacher, a drama teacher, whatever the fuck. I mean, this guy has no understanding. He's about as inept as humanly possible of what it means to be someone that comes from the private sector. He's a fucking silver spoon, bottle-fed, bureaucratic baby, right? This guy, and he still lives that way as an adult. And he self-describes as a man... As a feminist, I mean, like, don't look to this guy to be your leader, right? I mean, come on, Jesus Christ, really? You don't race down to the lowest common denominator. You don't go down that far to look for a leader. And if you do, well, where the fuck are they going to take you, right? <laughs> you know, traversing through subterranean caverns, right? <laughs> Lead you straight to hell, maybe. Well, they're already halfway there, right? Now, I'll post a link to this article in the description of the video below, and I won't read any more from it, but I mean, come on. I'm, I'm, I'm totally, fully understanding why people in the business community don't want to deal with fucking little potato with his fucking feminist agenda, like with his virtual signaling bullshit. It's like, wait a minute. We care about the real things in the world, the real things in the society, the real social and economic development that will take us forward you know, into the future and being more prosperous. I mean, come on. How can you pull forth and present any kind of information that's all ideologically driven, right? Without 
expecting and experiencing a massive and severe pushback. Like I say, these people, Trudeau and his fucking team and this Christina Freeland, like with her, oh, we're not getting her away, let's cry about it. I mean, come on, that doesn't inspire anybody. It doesn't show you are an authority in any way, shape, or form. It just means that you're just a whiner. Just a cry baby's like, I want my way. God damn it. If you don't give me my way, I'm going to fucking do whatever I can to disrupt everybody. I'm going to, I'll destroy millions of people's lives socially and economically if I don't get my way. That's what these leftists, these feminazi types sound like. It's like, give me what I want or I'll throw a temper tantrum. Well, listen, the rest of us got to really put ourselves in a position where it's like, let them throw their temper tantrum. Let them whine and cry and pound their fists and stomp their feet and we'll just continue on about our daily lives that's where we got to get to let these fucking dipshits throw their temper tantrums let them be the morons that they truly are right and they want to play their little authoritarianism let them but just Make it so that they're just doing that and they, they're just this, this weirdo, like the guy downtown, like sounds like some insane motherfuckers like standing on the street corner. Argh! Let them let them ramble on, right? Don't try to stop them. Don't try to shut them up. Ramble on. But, you know, listen to them, be entertained for a few seconds and then pivot away and do your thing. And don't let them have any real effect or consequence on how your personal individual lives is affected a truly independent and free society is strong enough and resilient enough that these dipshits can do their thing and the rest of us just go on, march forward, and remove yourself far enough from their screeches and their, from their whining that you don't really have to deal with it much. That's the best way going forward. It's Canadian Libertarian, and I love liberty.